What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Detect John, welcome back to the channel and Merry Christmas. And tonight I'm gonna to be conducting another screen uniformity and burning test on my 65 inch LG C10 OLED. Now tonight's test should be quite interesting because if you follow the channel, you will know that uh, I've got the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and we have been doing an absolute ton of gaming on this TV and uh, I know it's a big concern for uh, buyers out there that when you game you've got a lot of static logos and things like that heads up displays so it should be a great test to see you know how all that usage has affected the panel if it has at all now normally I run these tests once a month but unfortunately I've left it a little bit longer this time round, and it's been approximately six weeks since my last test now, when I last tested the TV, I think we clocked up uh, around 1,100 hours in total screen on time. But since then, um, I estimate that we've put on an extra 400 hours on top of that. So we're now up to approximately 1,500 hours of screen on time with this TV. Now, as usual, I will start off with a 5% grayscale where we'll check out for any patchiness and uh, vertical banding. Then we will move on to a color sweep where I will let it rotate through various colors and uh, we'll look for any uh, signs of burning and any dead pixels. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right, first up then we have that 5% grayscale as indicated by the 5% down there. And uh, yeah, looks uh, pretty good at the moment actually. I swear it's actually improved over last time. As always, we do have that little dark area just up there. And uh, the patch on the right hand side, which starts off a little bit darker and gradually sort of thinning out as it goes up. But yeah, I've just had a look back from last time and uh, yeah, it seems to have lightened up a bit. Now, uh, we do also have a few streaks down the screen, but again, as uh, previously, I don't notice those under normal viewing conditions. So, you know, if you don't notice them like that, then really they're not worth worrying about. But I've just looked back at the, uh, the previous footage and yeah, it's... I'm pretty sure that that has improved uh, since last time. Now, just remember that these do a um, automatic refresh after four hours of use. So when you turn the TV off, or should I say into standby, then, you know, it'll refresh the panel. So maybe just after a few cycles over time, you know, things are maybe starting to improve a little bit more as uh, time goes on with the panel. So, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, pretty happy with that it doesn't you know it's nothing really really bad and uh i also just taste tested out the lg g10 and uh, if any of you guys are interested in that tv then go and check out that video where i've unboxed it but i've also done a screen uniformity test on that and also that was very good too so yeah with this i'm uh, pretty pleased with that this month so let's uh, move on to the color sweep Color sweep is now up and running. And I'm gonna let this just rotate through these colors so we can see what it's like. And then I'm gonna stop it and we're gonna go in for a closer look to see for, uh, or look for any burning and uh, any dead pixels. First, we're gonna start with a nice bright white then. Now it does look a little bit blue on uh, the camera, but trust me in person, it is a bright white. Let's go in a little bit closer and uh, gonna pay particular attention to the uh, sort of areas where I expect to see like heads up displays and such like. So mainly in your corners where, you know, like I say, you get those and your scores and things like that. And uh, also just take a look for any dead pixels but from uh, what I'm seeing on this initial pass just here it all looks uh, pretty clean to me now one of the reasons why I do this is uh, or these videos is just to document the usage of this TV 
over my ownership and uh, however long that might be. Obviously, you know, I can't test a brand new TV for years in the amount of, you know, six months or whatever it might be, or five months, should I say. But, you know, I can just do my best to just give you guys an idea of what it is like over the hours that I've used it for. And we do rack up a considerable amount of hours. So anyway, that all looks good. Let's uh, move on to the next colour. Right, next we have blue. So let's uh, go in a little bit closer. I don't know why I always tell you guys <laughs> what colour it is. I think it's pretty obvious what colour it is, but there you go. So moving along the top. And uh, once again, that is all looking perfectly clean to me. Now we've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, and uh, as you'll know, you know that's got plenty of static uh, visuals on there, heads-up displays, whatever you want to call them. But I can't see any sign of any of that burn in whatsoever. I think you all agree that looks perfectly blue and uniformed. No patchiness or anything dodgy like that coming through. So let's move on to the next colour. Now as you can probably guess green is the next colour so let's go in close once again. Now just for the benefit of those out there who don't understand what I'm doing by showing these colours well, when you get burning on an OLED TV, when you show like different colours, when it's a solid patch like this, you will see basically like a an imprint of uh, you know maybe that heads up display or a, you know a channel logo, essentially um, burn in. So it will be uh, like a contrast in as such. So uh, it's just where the pixels are degrading over time, and then that will be apparent when you just show those different colours. Um, so like I said, you know, it could be like a, a scoreboard or something like that, you know, your, your ticker tape running across the bottom, so you may may have like a uh, a bar there. There's just a different colour to what is being displayed and showing through these different colours um, will hopefully highlight any burning that is there. But as you can see, that is just a nice big slab of green. Finishing up on a nice red then, and uh, generally red is the most troublesome colour when it comes to burning on OLEDs. So it's going nice and close once again. Now I'd love to hear from any of you guys who have got the next gen consoles and an OLED TV. And uh, you know, have you noticed any burning on your OLED yet through uh, lots of gaming? Um, I'm yet to hear from anyone who has got one of the uh, sort of newer generation OLED TVs and who's uh, suffered burning from gaming. I have had a few people with older models come forward saying that, you know, uh, their like 7 series or before has got burning, not just necessarily from gaming, but general uh, TV viewing. Um, but that could be down to the fact that the older models just don't have as good uh, burning prevention features. But it could also be down to the fact that they have put actually more hours onto those panels than uh, generally new models have. But yeah, I am yet to hear from anyone who is uh, burning on one of the latest models. But there you go, as you've seen for yourself, that all looks absolutely perfect and uh, about as good as we could expect. Well, there you have it then, guys. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this video today, and if you have, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So, thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.